Welcome, sweet viewers, to today's episode of Healthy Living, where we will speak with Gina Shaw of Devon, England, a doctor of complementary medicine, author, health and nutrition consultant, and iridologist, or one who examines the iris to determine health status. Dr. Shaw has helped many overcome health conditions, including ulcerative colitis, gastric ulcers, hypertension, high cholesterol, multiple sclerosis, and depression through a raw vegan diet in which only animal-free foods that are uncooked or cooked at temperatures below 46 degrees Celsius are consumed. Dr. Shaw has also published many books on the links between nutrition and health, including The Undigestible Truth About Meat, The Healthy Vegan Child, and her latest work, The Anti-Aging Diet. Supreme Master Television recently interviewed Dr. Shaw in the UK about foods that can ensure optimal health. She first explains why she chose the raw vegan lifestyle. One of the reasons that I moved on to a raw food diet um, was because I was concerned about ageing. When I got to about 30, I was really looking my age, maybe older, and I didn't want to look that way, you know, so um, and I read all about the benefits of being on a raw food diet, so um, that, that's what kind of moved me towards that path. And, uh, you know, I read about people um, taking vegetable juices and their hair, hair turning from grey back to their normal colour and um, the way that, you know, you can look so much more useful on, on a good diet. And, and I saw the benefits myself. Within two or three weeks, I had bags of energy and I started to look years younger. It's just amazing. Dr. Shaw next discusses some common misconceptions about eating turkey and chicken. Turkey and chicken are possibly the least healthy of all the different meats, actually. Chickens are really the sickest animals in factory farming. They're riddled with many different diseases, including Marek's disease, which is a kind of a bird cancer, if you like. Since the 1970s, the actual fat content of chicken has um, increased by 30%. And, you know, these statistics that say that chicken is actually a low-fat, healthy option are just so wrong. It what happens, it? you know, if you eat fatty foods, you get heart disease and, and cancer and diabetes. Even if you cut the, the fatty part out, the lean part is where the cholesterol concentrates. So it's a no-win situation. Dr. Shaw also dispels the myth that eating fish is a healthy choice. Yeah, there's um, a lot of misconceptions there, definitely. I've been telling people for years that fish is actually a very unhealthy option. There's a very high fat content in a lot of fish. Um, obviously, you've got the cholesterol in fish. Obviously, you know, the more saturated fat, the more cholesterol you consume, the more you're likely to suffer with heart disease and, and then kind of related conditions. So um, there's a multitude of factors about why people need to avoid eating fish. Fish has, in recent years, been linked to um, diabetes, in fact. There is a great risk of introducing toxic substances into the body when eating fish. Um, obviously there's the mercury factor, there's the dioxin factor, there's all the pesticides that are used in fish factory farming. They use different chemicals like Aquagard and Canthaclanxin and um, you know all these different chemicals are of course poisonous and they do concentrate in, in the tissues of the fish. This is what people are consuming. I mean, with the mercury factor, pregnant women have been um, advised in recent years that they need to minimise the amount of fish that they eat to minimise the amount of mercury that they're getting in, into their bodies. Um, so, I mean, really, this should be an all-round warning, not just for pregnant mothers and for young children, but really for everybody. <music> Recent studies have suggested that omega-3 fatty acids can be beneficial to adults in maintaining a healthy heart and to fetuses and young children in facilitating brain development. Fish have omega-3s. However, Dr. Shaw says there are superior sources from the plant kingdom that do not possess the dangers associated with eating fish. Everybody's concerned with the omega-3 issue at the moment, but you can get a much more stable um, and quality omega-3 from walnuts, from sunflower seeds and from flax seeds. And you're not subject to cancer-causing agents that you get from fish. We 
will pause now for some messages. And when we return, Dr. Gina Shaw will discuss why it is best for our bodies to avoid dairy products. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Mm-hmm. 